Hi, my name is Kazim Adubuiga. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my top 5 Microsoft Azure certification to learn this 2022. And it's not news as well that Microsoft Azure has the second biggest market share in the public cloud space. And that's not about to change this year in 2022. So this therefore means that the demand for professional with Microsoft Azure skills will continue to grow. So this video is going to be very helpful for people new to Microsoft Azure and perhaps you know asking themselves the question, I want to learn Azure, but where can I start? Where can I begin? So let's delve right in. So at the top of the list for me, my number one is AZ900, Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. So the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals certification is an entry level certification. So this particular course is for people who are new to the Azure cloud. So if you are new to Microsoft Azure, then this is the best place to start. So keep in mind that the AZ900 is not a prerequisite to the other advanced Microsoft Azure certification. It is however recommended that you start with this particular course, the AZ900, because it's going to expose you to all the different cloud concepts such that when you're done with it, you can then choose to specialize. My number two is AZ104. That's the Azure Administrator. Unlike the AZ900, the AZ104, the Microsoft Azure Administrator, is an associate level certification and it's also a role based certification. Uh, the role based certification is what has come to replace the old MCSDSA, MCSC, MCSD certification types that we used to have back in the day. Right, so those are retired certifications now. So even though I've mentioned earlier that the AZ900 isn't a prerequisite to any of the advanced Azure certification, it is still best uh, for you to have an equivalent knowledge of the AZ900. Either you've done the AZ900 course or you have an equivalent knowledge because this particular course, the AZ104, we assume that you have some background knowledge, some basic, some fundamental cloud knowledge or that equivalent knowledge that you get from the AZ900 course in order for you to do well in this course. So the AZ104 touches on topics such as how to manage your cloud identities, how to manage governance, how to manage different resources that you have up on Azure. We are going to learn how to uh, create virtual networks uh, in this course and so on. So keep in mind that this particular course, the AZ104, is the most sought after Microsoft Azure certification and is the most popular as well. So my number three is the DP100. That's the Microsoft Azure Data Scientist. So the DP100 certification is a very hot certification that is in demand today. So you see, every business generates data, right? So the question is, how much value are you getting from the data that you're generating from your business? So data scientists helps us to make sense of our data. That's the job of a data scientist. So uh, data science will help us learn how we can collect data, how to analyze data, and how to make sense of the data that we have. This is meant to tell the skills of candidates in the area of designing and implementing data science solution on Microsoft Azure. So please keep in mind that we have other similar roles to data scientists, right? Roles such as data engineer, data analyst, but I would just prefer to class these other roles under the same umbrella as data science. 
So my number four is AZ400, designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solutions. DevOps is a combination of development and operations. So you see, traditionally, we know that the development guys, the development people are responsible for developing softwares and the operation people are responsible for rolling out the software and maintaining the software. So as the name connotes, DevOps, so it's a marriage of the two roles. So DevOps is combining development with operations. The end result of DevOps is to help us shorten the feedback loop cycle between development and operations. Unlike the other certifications that I've mentioned earlier, uh, I've said there's no prerequisite to DP100, there's no prerequisite to AZ104. But unlike those other two, this particular one, AZ400 does have a prerequisite. There are two routes to take uh, to end this particular badge, this particular certification. So number one, you can choose the AZ-104, that's the Microsoft Azure Associate, or you go with the AZ-204, it's Microsoft Azure Developer Associate. So you can choose either one of those and then you write your AZ-400 certification exam, which is designing and implementing Microsoft Azure solutions. My number five is the AZ-500, that's the Microsoft Azure Security Technologies. So we all know that security has been around for some time, especially now during the time of COVID. So every organization now has some form of cloud services that they are leveraging, which makes cloud security more important. So security is an area that is very hot right now that when you go into, I can bet you you are not going to regret, right? Just like the AZ-104, uh, for AZ-500, there's no prerequisite for this particular certification. But keep in mind that it's not an entry-level certification. The AZ-500 will be your best bet, uh, especially if you have your workload sitting on Azure. The, the number of security built around Azure and around Azure services as well. But uh, because you have those security in place doesn't mean that uh, you are not responsible for, for securing your workloads in the cloud. So it is still your responsibility to secure those resources that you have up there in the Azure cloud. And the security certification that can give you uh, this knowledge is the AZ-500. Alright, so those are my five certification of choice, my five Microsoft Azure certification of choice uh, for 2022. Uh, keep in mind that there are two factors that you probably want to consider when you want to choose a certification. So one would be a skill that interests you and not that alone, but a skill that when you acquire, you can make a lot of money. So you probably would need to do some background check, you know, to see what is in vogue. You don't want to choose a, a certification that is declining. So you want to make sure that you choose a certification that has a lot of job opportunities, right? So that continues to grow. So that way, uh, you're sure that you've acquired the skills doing what you love and you can also use the same skills to make a lot of money. So if you enjoyed this particular video, please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. So on that note, that's what I have for you today. Thank you very much for tuning in and thank you very much for watching. And let's do this again another time. Bye-bye now.